A blessed morning to all of you brothers and sisters who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Wednesday of the Holy Week. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Ronnie Chrysostomo, SVD, Shrine Rector. Our Eucharistic celebration and devotion to St. Joseph will now begin. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Before we enter the Paschal Triduum, we come to thank God for this uh, Lenten journey that we have uh, gone through, thanking Him for guiding us and preparing ourselves for these uh, greatest feasts of our faith, of the uh, celebration of the Paschal Mystery. And uh, as we thank God, we also continue to meditate our own journey, our response to Jesus, to His person, to His invitation, and to His ministry. So to celebrate worthily this Eucharist, we pause for a moment and ask God's mercy and pardon for the sins and failures, omissions we have done. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us, your servants, to attain the grace of the resurrection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. 
Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my bird. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right, let him confront me. See, the Lord God is my help, who will prove me wrong. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. For your sake, I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons. Because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme, you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Insult has broken my heart, and I am weak. I looked for sympathy, but there was none. For consolers, not one could I find. Rather, they put gall in my food, and in my thirst, they gave me vinegar to drink. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor and his own who are in the bonds, his parents not. Lord, in your great love, answer me. We rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Glory to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Your words, O Lord, are spirit and life. You have the word. Of everlasting life. Glory to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory to you o lord one of the twelve who was called judas cariot went to the chief priests and said what are you willing to give me if i hand him over to you they paid him 30 pieces of silver and from that time on, he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of the Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where would you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, The teacher says, My appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, 
they began to say to him one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes as it is written of him, but woe to the man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A blessed day, a blessed uh, Holy Wednesday to all of you and to our fellow worshipers joining us through this live stream. Today, traditionally, is called uh, the uh, Betrayal or Wednesday of Betrayal. And uh, so the uh, figure here, central figure is Judas. And uh, in these days prior to the celebration of uh, the great mysteries of our faith, this figure of uh, this treacherous disciple is significant and at the same time disturbing. In Judas and in Jesus, we can discover two extreme poles of human power. On the one hand, the freedom to surrender or betray that is the abyss of apostasy represented by Judas. And that of surrendering or giving oneself the peak of the greatest love for others exemplified by Jesus and between these two poles everyone is free to move to carry out one's daily choices at the two extremes is either the power of God or the force of the evil one. Today we look at Jesus and we admire his ability to take a blow as painful as that betrayal of Judas, one of his own, to face it head on without letting it prevent him from carrying out his decision of total dedication to God's will without separating him a millimeter from his goal to be faithful to the Father giving his life for all of us. We call ourselves Christians but we still have a long way to go to be true and faithful followers because we do not think and live, making Jesus as the only Lord of our lives. We are still far from letting ourselves be carried away by the power of God and live as Jesus lived. In our life, there are lights and shadows, but also generosity and also selfishness, struggle and weariness, victory and defeat. But Jesus does not give up anything, continues to address us his word, as he would say to Judas today, you have said it so. Meaning, allowing us to decide 
to make our own choices, to act as we think best, give our life to that direction we have chosen. He keeps giving us freedom to follow and love Him if we decide it so. Love, we know very well, is not imposed. It is given from the heart and from the truth. And God is ever respectful of our freedom. If Jesus gives us the example of total and absolute fidelity, let us also not forget Judas, the disciple loved and chosen by Jesus to be part of his group and to live a deep friendship with the Lord and his companions, but who in the end could no more could do more betrayal to him. And that is why, as it is described in the gospel, and it was night. It was night also of his heart. We are weak people and we are exposed to many delusions. Hence the need not to stray from the friendship of Jesus and to seek Him in prayer and the sacraments. As we enter this Paschal Triduum, three days of celebrating the greatest expression of God's love for humanity because it is the giving up of His life freely and out of love for us. We open our hearts, our minds, and contemplate such beautiful expression of His love. We cannot match, we cannot repay God for what He has done. I think these days are days of quiet, grateful contemplation of what God, what Jesus has done for us. Let us take advantage of these three days to savor this gift of goodness and love of Jesus for us. Amen. As we approach Good Friday with confidence in our loving God, let us recall the saving action of Jesus, his servant. For every prayer, let our response be, Father, bless us in the blood of Christ. Father, bless us in the blood of Christ, that those who suffer unjustly may receive God's comfort through a clean conscience we pray, Father, Father bless, bless us, us in, in the Lord, that our own sufferings may strengthen our faith in the Lord. We pray, Father, Father bless, bless us, us in, in the, the blood, blood of, of Christ. Christ, that those among us who are putting off making their confession because of pride, fear, or laziness may come to the realization of the need for God's forgiveness. We pray. Father, Father, bless, bless us in, in the, the blood, blood of Christ. Christ. That the sick and all those who suffer may experience the healing presence of Christ, we pray. Father, Father bless, bless us, us in, in the, the blood, blood of Christ. Christ. That those who have died may share in Christ's resurrection, we pray. Father, Father bless, bless us in the in blood, blood of Christ. Christ. In silence we pray for other intentions. We pray. 
Father, Father bless us, us in the blood, blood of, of Christ. And as we celebrate these great mysteries of our faith, we remember also those suffering, especially because of the, the war that is going on in Ukraine. May the Lord bless these people, enlighten the leaders to find peaceful solution and end this conflict. We pray. Father, bless us in the blood of Christ. Lord God, give us the grace, the, the example of your Son to show us how to live and die. Grant us the faith we need to follow him. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. And though us, Almighty God, with a firm conviction that through your Son's death in time, to which the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished and the mystery of our redemption in christ is celebrated through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. <laughs> Oh, 
fund of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Onesto our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially those we remember in this Holy Mass. And all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With confidence and trust in our merciful God, we now address him with a prayer our Lord himself taught us. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am, am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say, say the, the word, word and, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Holy Communion will be done by Rose. Act of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Salana, 
kayo at magbalik loob sa mapagpatawad na ating Diyos. Magsisi tayo at maniklok mo ng may abot sa kong suod. Tanda ng pag ng Diyos ng habag ang anak na sa krus ipinapangayag ang awa niya'y walang hanggang awin aming kasalanan at awad Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by the sacrament with which you have fed us in this present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kindly kneel and all together we pray the Russia Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We, we pray, pray that, that you guide, guide the people tasked task to find cures, cures for this disease and to stem its, its transmission. Bless, Bless our, our efforts to use the medicines developed develop to end the pandemic in our country and in the whole world. We, we pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion, grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Freinademetz. Pray for us. Kindly be seated for some announcement. Today, April 13, our holy Wednesday Lenten Recollection speaker is Ms. Isa Caparas Tabayoyong from the Family and Relationship Consultant of the Love Institute. Also, we will be having our pabasa starting at 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. today. For Holy Thursday, our schedule are as follows. 8.30, Lods, 2 p.m. Virtual Visita Iglesia via live stream. 5 p.m. Mass of the Lord's Supper, 6.30 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. Adoration to the Blessed Sacrament. Confessions are also available from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. and from 7 p.m. 
to 9 p.m. on Holy Thursday. On Holy Friday, 8.30 Lodz, 9 a.m. Station of the Cross, on-site and online. 3 p.m. Celebration of the Lord's Passion, 5 p.m. Devotion to the Sorrowful Mother and Burul ni Jesus. On Holy Saturday, we will have the 8.30 Lods and the 7 p.m. Easter Vigil Mass, followed by the Salubong. On Easter Sunday, we will follow the Sunday Mass schedule as shown on the screen. Thank you for your support, Reverend Father Ronnie Chrysostomo, SVD, Shrine Rector. Uh, right after the blessing, we still have our devotion to St. Joseph. We ask his intercession and prayers for all of us as we celebrate this Paschal Triduum. And also those who are uh, want to join us here for the Pabasa the whole day, 8 to 4 more or less. You are welcome to join us, and uh, also those in the in other parts of the world. No, you will be announcing the uh, the parts of the pabasa if you want to join. No, with your books and sing. It's uh, our way of of telling ourselves or preparing ourselves also to to be part of the journey of Jesus towards the cross and his resurrection. A beautiful tradition, Filipino tradition, especially here in the Tagalog and also in the, in the northern parts of the Philippines, we have this pabasa or pasion or lexio as we call. So these are, this is part of our uh, religious popular tradition and that can help us enter uh, into the spirit of our celebrations. So you are invited to join us by uh, online or on site if you come here with us. Please stand for the blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Grant your faithful, O Lord, we pray, to partake unceasingly the Paschal mysteries and to await with longing the gifts to come, that persevering in the sacraments of their rebirth, they may be led by Lenten works of newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, your loved ones, your work and activities, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So we offer and we ask uh, St. Joseph's intercession for the whole church and for her needs. Be blessed, St. Joseph, a person according to the heart of God, 
you were found worthy to care for God's own mother and be a father of his beloved. We, we honor, honor in your in person, person the choice, the choice of, the of the eternal, eternal father, father who wished wish to share, share with you his power over his only, only begotten, begotten son, son, the choice of the divine son, son himself, who wanted, wanted to be subject to you and be called son of Joseph, the choice of the Holy Spirit, who singled you out to be the protector and chaste companion of his immaculate spouse, Mary, Mary most holy. We share your joy that you were permitted to cherish the child Jesus with tenderly love and care. We reverence the self-control and continence which you manifested all during those years when you lived under the same roof with the Virgin Mother. Praise be the Lord who has given you such a sterling character that the Virgin Mother could place her full trust in you to protect her. Be blessed and praised, our Father and Protector, for living a life so worthy of imitation. Make us zealous to follow in your footsteps. Blessed Joseph, faithful spouse of Mary, ever virgin and guardian father of the child Jesus, we come before you to offer you our filial love and gratitude. We thank, thank you, you for the loving care which you bestowed so faithfully on Mary and the divine child. Show that same fatherly care now to us who are members of Christ in the mystical bond of his body and blood. Blessed Father and Patron, be our intercessor with God. Implore for us that purity of heart which you always manifested in all your undertakings. Teach us it's your lively faith, your prompt your obedience, obedience to God's, God's will, will, your unassuming way, way, and your great, great love for Jesus, Jesus the Lord. Glorious Saint Joseph, we implore your aid for the entire believing community, our Holy Father and all the bishops, priests and religious of the church guide and, and assist, assist all also all temporal, temporal rulers be the model, model of patience and diligence for all workers and, and come, come to the, the aid of the poor and the afflicted so that they obtain what they need to live worthy christian lives be with us above all at the hour of our death allow us to die in the arms of jesus and mary as you did by the assistance of your powerful prayers. Intercede, we beg you, for the faithful departed, especially the deceased members of our families, that they may be admitted to the glorious vision of the triune God. In the silence of our hearts, let us present to God our needs, prayers, and intentions through the intentions of Saint Joseph. Remember, most, most pure, pure spouse of Mary, Mary ever virgin, virgin, our protector, protector Saint Joseph, Joseph, that no one ever had recourse to your protection or implored your aid without obtaining relief. Confiding, confiding therefore in your goodness, goodness we, we come before you and humbly beg you, do not despise our petitions, guardian father of our Savior, graciously receive them. Amen. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Jesus. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Jesus. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy us, O Jesus. He made him the Lord of his household and prince over all his possessions. Let us pray. O oh God, in your infallible providence, you were pleased to choose Blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother. Grant, we beg you, that we may be worthy to have him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 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 Saint Joseph, pray, pray for, for us. Amen. 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 Prayer to St. Joseph for one's family. Joseph, Joseph strengthen, strengthen in our family every bond of, of love which unites us, the marriage bond, the love of parent and child, the bonds of mutual love between all. Joseph, protect our family from every danger, from without and from every threat to peace 
unity and harmony within. Joseph, teach us to be kind and loving towards one another, careful for one another, tolerant of one another, forgiving towards one another. Joseph, may contentment with our lot and joy in each other abound in our hearts as we seek faithfully to serve and greatly to love God. Joseph, be yourself a father towards the family of ours, and pray Mary be a mother to us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Amen. Thank you. 